issue to at the Lee County uh, Library, a citywide uh, literacy uh, initiative known as Tupelo Reads began with a commemoration ceremony looking back at the tragic events of 9-11. It's just uh, an appropriate time to reflect and rededicate ourselves, recommit ourselves to what uh, uh, what patriotism means uh, to us today. In Amory, they gathered at Houghton Cemetery for a memorial service. God bless America. The local Woodman of the World Lodge presented a flag, flagpole and plaque to Boy Scout Troop 55. We don't want us to get complacent and forget all those that lost their lives. So that's why we have this ceremony. I, lo I love to see um, a veteran because I um, one day hope to be one and fight for my country. 90-year-old Lawrence Rabbit Kennedy fought in three wars serving his country for more than 30 years. He says the ceremony gives him hope for the future. Especially when you see young men and women out here, especially like the Boy Scouts, uh, raising the flag and stuff, how does that make you feel? Touching my heart. If that don't touch your heart, you can't be touched. First responders were also honored at this event in Verona. Although there were 9-11 remembrance ceremonies all throughout the area, they all had a common theme and message, remembering those who lost their lives, the loved ones left behind, and honoring the men and women who 10 years later are still fighting the war on terror. In Verona, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.